my god. We are heading into 2024 and it would be a disgrace for me to enter the year like this. I am down bad right now. You guys all know, it feels great entering the new year when everything feels like it's put together. When you've done an everything shower, when you've done all your glow up, maintenance, routinely scheduled appointments. Like before you go on a trip and you feel like you've done everything you can to absolutely glow up internally, physically, mentally, just like you feel ready to go into the year. I don't know about you guys, but that is something that is essential for me, especially if I'm gonna be making goals and planning out my year. I feel like the ultimate way to feel my best going into this new season is by doing all those little superficial things and I know you may be thinking superficial things and doing self-care and glowing up is not necessary that is completely okay that is completely fine if it is not your cup of tea but for me for the material girls they probably get it you know the ones that get it get it you want to feel put together going into the new year today we actually have our first appointment and it's actually to get my eyebrows laminated and my lashes lifted and tinted I've been doing this for quite a few months now and every time it absolutely transforms the way my makeup goes on my face and I just feel so glowing up after doing that. So anyways, I'm excited for today's video. If you are new to my channel, please make sure to subscribe. I make so many videos like this one. And if you're not new here, welcome back. I love you guys. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Comment down below. What is it? Your number one glow up ritual and how you're going to glow up for the 2024 new year. And let's get on into it. So this is what my brows and lashes looked like before. I had gotten a lash lift and tint and an eyebrow lamination like two months ago, so it's been some time. They obviously still look a little bit lifted and my brows don't look that bad, but they're just gonna look way better once I get this treatment done. <laughs> It is the next day, the nails are done. The toes are done, I don't really wanna show you guys, but I got my nails done. I'm so excited with how they turned out. You saw in the previous clip, but they're just light pink. The original color I got is called Funny Bunny, which I think is like light pink and white, but like they kind of look a little bit more white, but I honestly really like them. They were gel X though, which is different than what I normally get. But anyways, it is the next day and we are one day away from New Year's Eve. Currently, I was just doing some gua sha which you guys know, I love a little gua sha. I have a gua sha tutorial on my TikTok, I just used like an oil and started doing some lymphatic drainage, but I started vlogging because I have a new self-care tool that I've never shown in a video before and it is incredibly special because I got it for Christmas. Jacob, my boyfriend, bought me this. This was something that was on my wish list for the longest time and it is the New Face Mini. This is said to be a petite facial toning device with microcurrent skincare and basically this is clinically proven to be a five minute facial lift. Love. Oh, you can also use the app. I haven't downloaded the app yet. It lifts your brows, it contours your cheeks, it tones your jawline, it lifts your jowls, not that I have that yet, and tightens your neck. I mean, obviously, you guys know. I'm still young, not that I need to be worrying about my jowls at the ripe age of 22, but I love self-care facial devices, and y'all know, Botox is all the rave these days. Getting filler, getting all these things done is like so popular, especially in the influencer and like beauty industry, and I feel like something like this is just so fun to take care of yourself and at least have some preventative measures in terms of your face and staying cute for life. Not that this is a necessity at all. When I'm using this, guys, no one that's watching 
feel the need to go buy this and feel like you need to start doing like freaking facelifts because I know that I'm young. I just, it's an investment. I want it for the future and why not do it if I have the option to? It's an expensive little device so I wouldn't just say go for it. I feel like a gua sha can almost do the same thing and I heard that the gua sha is basically the same. Like this is giving lymphatic drainage, depuffing. This is also giving lymphatic drainage and depuffing but because it is microcurrent, it reaches like deep underneath your skin and actually does more of facial toning and lifting. It's kind of like a little workout for your face. It came with this little hydrating aqua gel activator and it also came with a serum that I literally think I left at my mom's house. We wanna look fire for tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna do some tanning tonight. Just all of the self-care rituals and then we'll do some more tomorrow. Also for the new face, you guys saw, I just put some of the activator on my jaw and basically you just have to go really slowly like this. And then you can like hold it down on other areas like this. Recently I've been listening to the Nicki Minaj new album and I've been loving it. did my makeup. This is literally just for fun. I think I'm gonna film a video, but I'm not going out or anything. I will shower tonight and still do myself tanning because as I'm trying to do my makeup, I'm realizing that I'm just like so pale right now. So I think a tan will definitely suit me better. <laughs> breakfast that was delicious what I did last night let me give you guys the recap okay so I went in the shower I took an everything shower I made sure to use a body scrub from tree hut I used a vanilla one and then I used this mind body like peony body wash I shaved my legs my arms everything I wanted to be super super soft and exfoliated and then I shampooed my hair with the native shampoo and then I put in this morning the k18 like leave-in conditioner you basically use it as conditioner and you only shampoo your hair all those products are my favorite and then out of the shower, I used the Tanlux Tanning Drops with the Sol de Janeiro Cream. Low-key, that cream was really thick. I think a lotion that is a little bit thinner works easier when you're doing tanning drops, but you know what? The tan turned out pretty good, other than the fact that my hands turned out a little bit bad, but that's kind of expected. I feel like my body turned out pretty good, though. This morning, I woke up. I did my new face again, but you guys saw me do that yesterday, so I'm not going to redo that. And now that we had our healthy breakfast, I'm feeling pretty good. New Year's happened. This is the outfit that I wore on New Year's Eve and I had such a fun, 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 good time. I didn't vlog it because I was just with my family and my friends, but I had the best time. And we're gonna continue glowing up for the rest of the week, but I'm bumping in here to give you guys a little thread up haul because I picked up some new items that are super cute and scream 2024 fashion trends to me. I've worked with thread up a few times before, so I'm very excited for them to be sponsoring today's video. I'm also excited because I went on their website and I favorited 50 items so you guys can actually shop the items that I favorited myself and they are so cute I'm not purchasing them so you guys have the option to I genuinely have to pop in here to show you guys the items that I favorited because tell me these aren't the cutest pieces ever this looks like it's straight out of Devin Lee Carlson's closet and I want every single piece here I tried my best to get a variety of sizes a variety of styles incorporating a bunch of trends that are huge this year and a bunch of colors and patterns that I'm loving for this next season I even want to show you guys four pieces that I just got for myself today first things first is this blue leather jacket I I just think this is amazing. I cannot wait to style this. The second piece I got was this Tommy Hilfiger sweater. I think it is so cute. I could not pass this up. The third item I got was this cheetah or leopard faux fur jacket. I feel like this is just, this is the energy I'm embodying this year. I don't know. And then the last thing I got were these cute little shoes. I'm obsessed with the little buckle. But anyways, if you don't already know about ThreadUp, it is a website where you can shop secondhand online. And it is so great because they have so many designer brands. They have regular brands, like just so many brands, so many different items. It is the perfect 
perfect way to, if you want to indulge in the trends of fashion, do those trends without having to spend a whole lot of money. And also it's just obviously helpful for the environment to shop secondhand. I highly recommend checking out their website, looking for yourself, searching in the search bar, whatever it is that you desire and taking a scroll through. I always get Pinterest to look for some inspiration of the clothing pieces that I want to go for. And I listen to music at the same time. And it's just like a fun little hobby. It's like literally going thrifting, but online. So you don't have to leave your house. But anyways, I'm gonna show you the outfits that I picked out myself and let me get into it. The first item that I picked out is this knit little white tank top. And this is from Ralph Lauren, which I love. Obviously such a great brand. And I love that it is the perfect amount of see-through where you can kind of see through, but you also can't see anything. I wore it when I was in LA and I just loved how classy it looked while still keeping me fresh and just like I could get a breeze through my shirt. The next thing I picked up were two different clutch purses, which are perfect for going out nights or, you know, it would have been perfect for New Year's, but I'm definitely gonna take these to Fashion Week with me, I think next month. And the first one is this brown little gemmed clutch. And it even has a little silver crossbody thing. I absolutely love this. I think it's so unique and fun and it's just so cute. This is from the brand Bijou Turner and the estimated retail price is $29 and the thread up price is $14. The second little clutch purse I got is this one right here. And I think it is so cute. It looks like it should be a mermaid's purse. It's got a little gold chain so you can hold it. And it's just this beautiful light yellow. I feel like I'm gonna wear this a lot in the spring. This clutch is from the brand Encore and the estimated retail price is $19 and the thread up price was $13. Now, next up, I'm gonna show you two dresses that unfortunately don't fit me because I think I have, um, what's the word? Like I keep thinking I'm a smaller size than I am by accident. I definitely thought I was gonna fit into these and I don't. So we'll see, I might give them to one of my friends, but I picked up this beautiful brown strapless dress. It is like midi length and I just love this color. I think brown with like brown hair looks really nice together and blue eyes. And if this fit me, I would be wearing this a whole ton. And the reason why this stood out to me in particular was because it came with this brown like second piece. And originally I thought it was so that you could go like this and wear it as like a little scarf like that, which honestly I like it better. I feel like it's incorporating more of 2024's trends with like a little mini scarf or the way that it was actually on the website was that they just tied it around the waist and used it as like a little bow, which is another big trend of 2024. You guys know bows are everywhere. So any way that I can incorporate a bow, I'm here for it. This is from the brand Ann Taylor, which I also think is a really good brand. So I will be giving this to one of my smaller friends and I'm so jealous. This Ann Taylor cocktail dress had an estimated retail price of $170, but the thread up price was $30. The next dress I have here is a sparkly pink one. I was so sad that this didn't fit me. This was giving New Year's and it's just giving the pink Pilates princess vibe. I mean, it's pink, it's sparkly, it's got sequins. I actually just wore a dress very similar to this from Michael Kors and it was a darker pink. So the fact that I got this lighter pink that looks like an exact dupe on thread up was just like, it was meant to be. This is from the brand Cynthia Steffi and I just think it's so cute. It's got a little a zipper down the back as well. I also think that pink and brown looks really good together. This cocktail dress is from Cynthia Steffi and the estimated retail price is $319, but the thread up price was $67. And speaking of pink and brown looking good together, the last thing I got is this jacket from Loft. I actually wore this the other day and I absolutely love this. I think it is perfect for the winter, for the fall, for the spring, literally all times of the year. Tell me this isn't the cutest thing ever. Like this, a little turtleneck. I'm obsessed and she's so warm. And also Loft is a really good brand. This jacket is from Ann Taylor Loft and the estimated retail price is $64.88 and the thread up price is $21. I forgot to show you guys these flats that I got, but they have a flower on them. And I feel like this just encapsulates so many trends that are currently going on. I absolutely love these. These flats are from Isola and the estimated retail price is $153, but the thread up price was $37. Anyways, if you guys want to shop on thread up yourselves, I highly recommend it. I actually have a 40% off promo code for you guys. So I highly recommend using it. It is Fernanda, just all capital letters. You can use this extra 40% off to shop your first order and get some new pieces for this new year. Anyways, thank you thread up for sponsoring this portion of the video. I love you guys. And let's continue with glowing up. We are getting a bugle facial massage and laser hair removal.
first workout of 2024. I did a yoga class and I did an hour walk and I feel honestly phenomenal. I feel like for the past week, even though I've been doing all this like superficial glow up stuff, I've been feeling very lazy and just like not not really feeling like myself, like absolutely not productive. And I kind of gave myself the the grace, we'll say, to be a little bit lazy because I'm like, I'm gonna do the 75 hard and like I'm gonna start after the first week of January. So like this first week can be kind of weird. But then my boyfriend even was like, Fernanda, you're not gonna be able to do the 75 hard if you haven't even like worked out once. And I was like, okay, you're right. Maybe I should ease into it. So today I did technically the two workouts. I've got my water here. I just took a shower and we're gonna do a little bit more self-care or just some like maintenance things some things that I know make me feel good. I thought first we would do a little ice bucket face challenge. These pictures are viral all over Pinterest. Like I see them all the time. Isabella Hadid, she's like, you know, in the ice. Do I think this is the most effective ice thing? Not necessarily. You could probably grab an ice and just like ice your face or do an ice roller, which is what I normally do. But I tried the ice thing last week for the first time. I did it like five times for like 30 seconds and it was really hard, but it did really feel like rejuvenating. I don't even know what the word is. Like it made me feel really good. And after getting my facial the other day, she recommended me to put ice on my breakout spots anyways so that the inflammation and redness goes down. Also, I never even gave you guys the update on how that buccal massage went. That was so relaxing and I liked it so much more than like a different time when I got a different facial and it was like lymphatic drainage. They were just going like this, like it was so light. But this one was like, they were getting into it. It almost kind of hurt, but that's what I liked about it. Like it was so satisfying. So she told me that I don't need to go obviously until like another six weeks if I want to rebook. It was kind of expensive, but I just did it because I was like, treat yourself. Oh, and I got my laser hair removal, which was great. So let's get this ice bucket going. I think we're gonna make some green juice because my mom got groceries for me yesterday, which was so sweet of her. And she like cut up a bunch of like veggies. So they're ready to go and to be put into a juice. I also made myself some green tea. Um, I haven't had green tea in a while, but that was a ritual that I used to do like every single morning. Morning and it helps so much with deep bloating and just like your general health. I also did my new face before my shower, so I just feel great. But anyways, let's get a bucket, fill it up with ice, and do our thing. Oh my God, it went on my nose. done with this. devouring this. This is delicious. I'm gonna take my vitamins and start getting ready.
you guys, I'm vlogging on this different camera. It's the Canon G7X. I know for some reason my voice is gonna sound deeper. I don't know why. I changed some settings on this camera and I don't know how to get it back to normal, but my voice sounds deeper on here than when I use my Canon M50, but my Canon M50 just died. So we're gonna use this one to do the outro. My Christmas tree is literally still up and I don't even wanna take it down. Also guys, I'm wearing this cross necklace. It's literally just the shape of a cross, like the shape, but I literally had gotten comments of people thinking that it was an upside down cross. It's not a religious cross. It is not an upside down cross. It is a random cross kind of giving captainship. Anyways, I'm wearing it right now because I don't have any other necklace that kind of goes down and I want a longer one. Other than that, I haven't been wearing it because I feel like people, people will be getting too confused, but I'm just clearing it up there. Um, I'm just wearing this gray top, some jeans, this little bag from Princess Polly, and probably my Adidas Sambas. But anyways, guys, look at my hair growth. It's a little bit longer. I'm trying to grow it out. The glow up is done. This has been the first week of January. You've been honestly seeing like a little bit of my week throughout and next week is going to be the actual planning cleaning deep cleaning that's going to be in the next video i'm so excited for that i hope you enjoyed this video i feel so put together from my nails to my toes to my eyebrows to my lashes my facial my yoga class this morning the food that i've been eating the juice that i had the new face that i've been doing like literally everything i feel great i hope that this video gave you some inspiration for some self-care activities for you to do or maybe even some treatments that you've never gotten done before but I am off to see my mama and my dad and my brother and my cousin and we're gonna have pozole. I just wanted to remind you guys if you want to shop on ThreadUp, use my code FERNANDA in all capital letters to get 40% off your first purchase. Check the description for more details and I hope you guys have fun shopping for 2024 fashion. Bye guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We're almost at 1.5k. I love you. For a while, trying to please everyone who's around me. I've been putting on my fake smile, even though I'm wasting time. I don't want to be trapped in a box, trying to be like the rest when I'm not.